So taking it off, most of you guys, most, most of our renters are familiar with this. Undo the elastic straps here, one on one side, one on the other. That'll allow the, the rear piece to hang down loose. And then here in the front um, is a Velcro, a line of Velcro that keeps it all, all open. So you know, pull that apart. And then once you've got that disconnected, should be able to just pick up one side and off it comes. Uh, before you put it away in the back of the airplane, uh, probably will want to fold it in some sort of uh, some sort of organized fashion here. So fold it and then usually just a, a simple wrapping up works really well. To put it back on, um, generally easiest to start from the front of the airplane. Uh, so here, this rounded portion, look for that. That's what's gonna go over the spinner. So, pull it from the front. And make sure that that portion, that rounded portion fits between the spinner and the front cowling. That's gonna make a good seal to keep the heat in. Then you'll move down underneath the spinner and you're gonna to wanna to make sure that this cutout for the exhaust is well fitted. So open it up real well, make sure the hole for the exhaust actually goes over the exhaust. You hold it up there with one hand and then with your other hand, start working the Velcro down the line. Once you've got that portion done, it'll stay up there, and now you can take the two, uh, two back halves. So again, you're gonna wanna make sure with this back portion that it fits between the uh, strut of the nose gear. and the bottom of the cowling. So there's the scissor link on the nose gear. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that this flap goes between that nose gear scissor link and the bottom of the cowling. Again, that's what makes the best seal and it's gonna keep the heat in most effectively to keep the engine warm. So, once you've got the cover on, make sure that the airplane gets plugged in. The two places that you could find the plug-in, one primarily is typically gonna be in the oil access door. So, take your extension cord, you got the plug right there. Plug it in, and then go ahead and gently close this a little bit, and then use the Velcro cover to secure it. Okay, the uh, other option of where you might find the plug-in other than the oil access door would be just on the side of the airplanes. So if you don't see anything in the oil access door, it's gonna be down here. Just simply plug it in, that's it. Okay, so the other cover that we have other than the, uh, with, other than the bungees is with these uh, blue, blue, uh, plastic balls to hold it on. So to take it off, just remove these blue holders from their, uh, from the loops, and then that'll let the whole bottom slide loose. The Velcro on the front is just like the other ones. Just undo that, it'll open up, and then the cover comes off like normal. Putting these back on is a little different. Again, it's still going to be easiest to start, start from the front. 
where the spinner sits. Lay it over first. That seal around the spinner there. And then putting it together, there's two flaps here. So you have to make sure that this first, this first piece goes up and then the second piece is what holds this uh, first flap up tight against the cowling to make a good seal. So Velcro there, and then your ball will slide into its loop. That'll keep that first piece up. Again, the second half is what sits behind the nose gear. And once again, there's a flap that has to go up and then we'll bring our loop holder up to keep it in place. So first flap will go up, second flap will come across between the nose gear and the cowling, and then the holder will come up to its loop. And then we'll just take care of the two remaining loops and the cowling will be secure. In this locker uh, is extra oil. So red oil for the 172s and the Aero, uh, blue oil down here for the 152s. And we've also got right here a garbage can now. So once you do put in oil, make sure you throw away that empty oil bottle. A little further along in here, And this is where the extension cords are kept. So if you're going on a cross country and you need to bring an extension cord, grab one from in here and you'll be set to go.